What's going on YouTube? You're watching Fixed by Shaq and in today's quick tutorial I'm gonna quickly show you how to convert an image file here into a PDF file on your iPhone device. And the coolest part is that you do not need to have the same iPhone model as mine. In my case I've gotten here an iPhone 16 Pro but if you've got a different model the process is exactly the same. It's gonna work on any iPhone model. And this is a very simple and quick tutorial which is very easy to perform. Hey my name is Shaq and in this channel I help with fixing tech related issues so if you're into tech content consider subscribing here to the YouTube channel. I also share cool tech hacks as well. So let's jump straight into the tutorial real quick. So first things first of course you need to take a specific picture right for example let me take a couple of pictures here on my camera application here we go I've got my hand in here I've got my laptop over there I've got my keyboard in here okay and then I've got my most lovely microphone in here. There we go, open up photos real quick. Now you need to select the images that you wish to actually convert to PDF. Okay, let me quickly zoom real quick. Let me bring down, here we go. These are the pictures that I've selected. One, two, three, four, okay, and five, right? So you can create a single image into PDF, okay? as well as you can create multiple images, okay? If you wish to go with multiple pictures, simply select in here, okay? And then select the pictures. In my case, I wanna go with this one and then this one and then this one in here, okay? So I've selected three images. Next up, I'm gonna tap here on this little share arrow in here to the top. Now, if you only wanna select one, simply open up that specific picture and then go to that specific share button right there. Next up, we'll simply scroll down in here and then we'll tap here on print, okay? So you wanna pretend here that you wanna print a PDF file, okay? So next up, once we're here, as you can see, we've got page one will be this image, page two will be this one, and page three will be this one, all in a single PDF document. So once you're here, what we're gonna be doing next is simply tapping here on this arrow at the top in order to share, and it's gonna create a PDF real quick. Next up, you can save it whatever you want to save that specific PDF. In my case, I'll tap here on save to files and I would also recommend you guys to save it to files so you can easily access it and share it to other places such as an email or WhatsApp or any other place as files is a good place to store a specific document. Now, you can also go direct, for example, with WhatsApp. You can send it to somebody. You can tap on email or Gmail, for example, or Google Drive if you want to share it in a different location. Okay, in my case, let's go with save to files real quick. And then you just need to select the path where you want to store that specific file. So I'll be going back and then I'll be going back once again. And I'll be tapping here on, on my iPhone and I'll simply be saving it here. Okay. Okay, save. There we go. Next up, I'm gonna close my photo library. I'm gonna bring down here the search and I'm gonna search for files, okay? So once I find files here real quick, I'm gonna tap on files to open up files. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go back once again, and I'm gonna search for on my iPhone. So on my iPhone is right here, this is the path where I've stored, and boom, here we go. This is my PDF file. So it's my PDF file with those three images that we've just taken in a few seconds, right? So if I tap on done, and if I simply uh, press and hold here on that specific file and tap on get info, you can double check that it's exactly a PDF file. As you can see, you've got format in here, which is a PDF file, the kind, okay? It's in PDF. So you can double check that it's exactly a PDF. Tap on done. You can also share this specific file by tapping here on this little arrow to other places such as your email or something like that. Now, the coolest part about using this feature is that you can actually sign documents also on your phone. Okay, for example, let's say that you want to scan and sign a document. For example, I've got in here this quick paper in here. Let's say that I want to scan it and sign it and send it to somebody real quick. And I do not have a printer to scan or I do not have a scanner or a laptop. Real quick, simply open up your camera application. Okay, simply take a quick picture of this specific paper in here. Here we go. Photo has been clicked. Real quick. Here we go. Open up that specific photo. Here we go. The photo is right here. Let me decrease the brightness and then you can quickly crop it here. Okay, just to make sure that my fingers don't show up. Tap on crop and then simply select the portion of the specific photo that you want to be displayed. Here we go. Let me just erase my finger in here. Boom, here we go. This is the image, right? Simply tap on done and we've got an image 
here, which has been taken as a photo, right? It's in image format. Now, let's quickly convert it to PDF, tap on share, as you already know. Next up, simply tap on print real quick, okay? Next up, simply tap on the share icon once again. Tap on save to files to save it as PDF, okay? On my iPhone, this is the path. Simply name it, I'm gonna name it as document. Okay, here we go. Next up, tap on save. There we go. Let's quickly go back to the home page. Let's search for files here at the top, okay? I think I did it very quickly. I'm gonna go back and erase and search once again, okay? Simply search for files real quick. Here we go, files is right here, showing up. Tap once to open up files, and here we go. We've got document here at the top left corner, right? So let's quickly open up that specific document. Here we go, it's a PDF file which has been perfectly scanned. Now suppose this is a document that you, for example, created and that needs a signature, right? You can also sign it from here, very easy. Simply tap here on this little uh, marker in here. Next up, at the top, you've got an option here to sign, simply tap in here. And then next up, simply tap on this plus arrow in here. Next up, you need to tap here and add signature. And then over here, you just need to sign with your finger, okay? This is the coolest part. Here we go. My signature will be Shaq, well signed in here. And then next up, simply tap here on done. Now, your signature will display in here. As you can see, I've got my signature already displaying in here, but it's misplaced. I want it to be here at the inferior right corner. So what I'm gonna do next is I'll simply tap here on this little key in here, and then tap on this little pen in here. Next up, it will allow me to select the specific signature and bring it down here. As you can see, I can also resize it real quick, and I can also tap here on this little pen icon to change the color, okay? I can go with red, I can go with blue, and I can also change the thickness of the specific signature. In my case, I'll be going with the red, well tick, and then here we go, the signature is done. I'm gonna tap on done, and my document has already been created in here in PDF format. I can quickly share this document to people by tapping here at the inferior right corner. I can send it on email to people and a lot more. This is why I recommend you guys to save it to files first because you can do further editings in here. And here we go, my PDF file has been successfully created. You can send it to somebody through email, on WhatsApp, or share it through AirDrop or any other social media. Thank you so much for making it till the end of the video. And if you have any question, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible possible. I would like to deeply thank all of you guys for supporting the YouTube channel Fixed by Shaq. We're now crossing 40,000 subscribers and this wouldn't be possible without you guys. The main aim of this channel is to help people fix tech related issues so you can save up some money and avoid paying high fees for something that you can do on your own. If you find my content useful here, do not forget to subscribe, like the video and leave a comment below and also share with your friends the videos here which are are in the YouTube channel because by doing so you're actually helping the channel growing and to reach out to more people and ultimately help more people fixing tech related issues. Thank you so much for watching Fixed by Shaq and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.